BYD's battery division, Thin Dreams, is set to unveil an upgraded version of its blade battery. They're aiming for August. That's not confirmed though. So this next generation battery is anticipated to have an energy density of 190 watt hours per kilogram. And that is a big, significant jump from the current generation, which is 140 to 150 watt hour per kilo. And that's in the Atto 3 and the Sea Seal and the Seagull. Uh, the Blade battery's original design was the unique cell arrangement for optimized space utilization so that it could compete against NCM batteries, which it has done really successfully. The upcoming version promises even greater efficiency, so it gets less warm when it gets used, for example, and so it wastes less energy, and a lighter build, which potentially enables electric vehicles equipped with it to achieve a range exceeding if you put a big enough battery in actually a thousand kilometers now, rivaling advances in solid and semi-solid state batteries, which I'll get into in a second. At a recent financial update meeting, BYD's chairman Wang Chuanfu announced the development of a new advanced battery, and this is the second generation blade battery, uh, which is set to be lighter, smaller, and will maintain its endurance, he said. So he, he's the bloke that started the company as a technology company explicitly in 2003, years and years and ago, years ago, and he still runs the company. Uh, obviously, now it's a huge company. Fast technology suggests the advanced second generation blade battery could finally enable electric vehicles to cross the 1000 kilometer CLTC range, uh, which will then give them a performance that is competitive so it could compete with uh, vehicles that are powered by IM Motors solid state and NEOs also, they've also got their own semi solid state batteries currently under production and they should be able to maybe get a thousand kilometers. If the battery does actually achieve 190 watt hours per kilogram energy density, then this would make it the highest performing LFP battery to date in terms of density, obviously. So, obviously, we know that the blade batteries from BYD are uh, pretty much the safest batteries you can get. Uh, and they withstand nail penetration test without combusting or even producing smoke, uh, unlike the NMC chemistry batteries, uh, which, because they contain cobalt in them, uh, that produces its own oxygen when they burn, and then that produces a more vicious fire. Uh, not that this should really overly concern you, but some people would like to know that, you know, that NMC chemistry can be a little bit more violent if it does set on fire. The V2 blade battery is also more efficient which means that there is less internal resistance. So it wastes less energy as heat when it's in use, but we don't know uh, the resistance figures for that. So this should enable BYD to lower the cost of their EVs, but also lower the weight of them, which in turn makes them more efficient to drive because there is less weight. So this is akin to Tesla's methodology where they uh, may use a smaller battery but make the car very efficient so that it goes just as far as an inefficient car with a bigger battery that is better in every scenario. So it's in that vein. I think it's very smart. This would also make the BYD Seagull uh, have a much improved range, which would severely increase its potential to sell massively. Uh, so the BYD Seagull comes with a large battery of 38.8 kilowatt hours, and that's basically like Rather than doing that, getting that one, you could also have a 49.4 kilowatt hour battery right now for the same price. You'd go for that, one, of course, and it not weighing any more. So that's that's absolutely fantastic, I think. Another way to look at it is uh, that if you can currently do on a good day at 90 to 100 kilometers per hour, if you've not really got much heating on, just on the lowest setting, you could do 240, 250 kilometers realistically, a seagull, uh, as at best on a full charge. Now you could do 320 kilometers and that's that I think is probably the highlight of the year so far for me in all of the news that I've been talking about. I think that's awesome. So what do you all think? Let me know in the comments.